that grows must also wither and die. What dies and rots will then nourish the living. This is the great cycle of being, and we, the priests of Rathma, use our dark art to protect it. Though most do not understand us, we go where we are needed. My master has learned that a star fell in the west, drawing the dead from their graves. He commands me to journey to Tristram and return them to their rest. For if the cycle is not upheld, it would mean the end of all things. I am near the fallen star, and the dead it raised. I have come to aid these lands. Where is the fallen star? It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. They keep coming! My master would take pride in this. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates. You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. Burn those corpses before they rise again. The dead have been a bane on our existence since that cursed fire fell. We have to burn them just to make sure they don't rise from the grave. I came here to study the fall of old Tristram. This is closer to the town's history than I want to be. Zachary. May the gods who abandoned us come to your aid one last time. Found some interesting things on my latest dig. You should take a look. I promised Marco I'd protect him, and now he's dead. Don't you dare lift a finger to help our mayor fix his wagon. The dead, rising from their graves. This must be the end of the world. Afraid of damaging your armor or weapons? Huh, that won't happen over there. In fact, no one even dies. Disappointing, really. Swing hard. Worry later. <laughs> Tristram used to be such a wonderful place to live. My family has been here since the town grew out of the ruins of old Tristram. But now, it's horrible. The loved ones we've buried and grieved over now threaten our lives. For many years, villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruins of the cursed town Tristram. But as time went by, adventurers arrived to loot the old cathedral, and their business was profitable enough that new Tristram sprang up to accommodate them. Fewer travelers visit now, though, and the town is mostly populated by craftsmen and farmers. Have you come to help us? 
The other adventurers who came through here didn't look so deadly. Welcome to the Slaughtered Cafe. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon... Are you Leah? Did you survive the Fallen Star? I did. But it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but... The Watch out! The wounded are turning! This is killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. Yes, that is why I am here. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Sixteen militiamen went out. Only Rumford came back. How could that help us? We never should have built on this cursed ground. Maybe Cain was right. Even in death, Diablo torments us. I will bring peace to the risen dead. I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. I have experience in these matters. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. Deckard Cain have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed risen dead. Never forget the first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. Ratna has blessed me.
Dear reader, I am Abd al-Hazir, adventurer, scholar, and researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world and its creatures through my insightful missives, often at grave risk to myself. Why, I was recently in Kanduras, where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I had heard the rumors, but I thought them just fancies of bored women, until I saw them dragging people through the streets today. Our own citizens! Has the world gone mad? Dear reader, I am Abd al-Hazir, adventurer, scholar, and researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world and its creatures through my insightful missives, often at grave risk to myself. Why, I was recently in Kanduras, where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I was able to beat them off with a shoe, but a less bold man would have fared far worse. Exploring a cave with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably, as I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this in New Tristram before it's too late. It is Tristram. creature will die.
Thank you for your help. But could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Interesting. If he lives, his knowledge could prove useful. Rathma has blessed me. When Leah told us the dead were pouring out of the cathedral, we quickly went to put an end to it. At first, it seemed we were succeeding, but, the, but they just kept coming. We, well, we were overcome. Captain Dalton and the men fought valiantly. They protected me. I am no soldier. I am, I was a farmer. I should not have been out there with them. I do not know how I made it back here. None of the others did. And now, somehow, I'm supposed to lead the militia. I volunteer to help because it seemed the right thing to do. But I'm no leader of men. True. Though you have held the town thus far. That's a simple thing for you to say. You were born to fight monsters like the Risen Dead. Me? I'm just a farmer. I will help you find your uncle, Leah. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. You know it's not polite to go through other people's things, don't you? We have come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terror, first corrupted mankind. This is where I may finally find the answers I seek. Leah worries after my safety, but I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the Burning Hells can be found here. Your cart is in the way. How dare you speak to me like that? I am the mayor of this town. Then why are you standing here, idle? Are you mad? This town is doomed. Anyone with a grain of sense should be trying to get out. Will you help me or not? No. What are we doing in my room? A miracle has happened. A hero, like one out of Uncle Deckard's tales, appeared and saved us. I know in my heart that my uncle still lives, and I pray that the hero will bring him home safely. Let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Dick. Did you know your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Captain Dalton!
Here's the key, and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. Leave that to me. You'd best stay and learn what you can. Thank you. me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again, but like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. For a long time, Uncle Deckard avoided coming back to this place. There were a lot of ghosts here for him. This is where Diablo drove old King Leoric mad and terrorized the people. I don't know what really happened here, but whatever it was, it was horrible. Nearly everyone who survived went mad. How did your mother die? Well, details are hazy, but I know that Adria was obsessed with chasing the Arcane. She knew she could never raise a child. Uncle Deckard believes that the madness and horror of her life finally caught up with her. This soul is not yet at rest. Star fell below. Tasks may seem slow and senseless, but they hide many dangers within their hideously malformed bodies. A set of spikes lurks beneath the monster's flesh, and foul parasites nest within them. It is said that these horrors themselves are constructed by a greater evil, a darkness that I cannot even fathom.
Black Danon, and I'm cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. Some foul new disease has taken hold in this land, and the carrion bats are near the heart of it. Since returning to Tristram, I have seen their numbers surge. The evil forces that linger here give them strength, and I fear that the worst is yet to come. Make a fine course. My master would take pride in this. Of that I am certain. 
He alone had the king's ear and whispered dark and evil magics into it, instilling the notion of an imminent attack by Westmarch. Afraid to speak against the Archbishop, the councillors nodded their empty heads in agreement and sent us off to die. Stay back! Back! May this wet hold. The skeleton king? The power of the fallen star awaken me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones! Did you risk yourself for me? I believe we can aid each other. Your niece told me you were here. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage. I cannot open this.
We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. I have found Leah's uncle, Decker Kane. He was pursued by a creature called the Skeleton King, who blocks the path to the Fallen Star. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. Friend? I am not often called that. But I wish to know more about the Fallen Star. The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. I've spent most of my life traveling from place to place with Uncle Deckard while he did his crazy research. It seems reasonable enough to me. He's convinced that the forces of hell will invade our world and bring about the end times. All these years, he's still searching for a way to stop this apocalypse. What did you learn of Adria? She wasn't from Tristram originally. She came here during the Troubles. She was in search of something, but I'm not sure what. She reminds me of Uncle Deckard, obsessed with the war between angels and demons. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. I will find a way to lay him to rest. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leah, you should not dismiss the signs so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence of your own eyes? Horrors have visited Tristram before, and it endured. But what of the texts? The Zakarum tomes warn of a falling star. The Herodric scroll spoke of the dead rising and the Lord of Lies. The prophecy of the end days says that at the end of all things, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Yes, you've been telling me about the text since I was eight years old, Uncle. I just don't think we should read too much into them. I am the last of the Herodrim. I couldn't always claim this. In fact, if I had turned to the Herodric teachings sooner, Diablo could have been stopped before his reign of terror began. That seems unlikely. When the first signs appeared, I did nothing. I had shrugged the old tales off like they were so much fantasy, and Tristram no, the world has paid dearly for my arrogance. I have tried to make up for my failings. Leah and I have spent her lifetime scouring the world, collecting pieces of the prophecy of the end days. If I can decipher it, we will have the key to defeating the Lords of Hell. You and Leah depend on each other. I do not know what my life would have been like had I not raised her. Oh, it must have been difficult for Leah, following an old man on a mad search for the secrets to defeating the lords of the burning hells. <laughs> but though she has seen her share of mysterious things, she is still unsure of my quest. I, I can understand. She has never seen anything like Diablo and his brothers. The prophecy of the end days is contained within the Herodric tomes I inherited from my ancestor, Jared Kane. It is a warning to those who could interpret it regarding Hell's ultimate invasion of our world. Written by many different people throughout history, in many different lands. 
All known versions of the prophecy are incomplete. I have spent a good part of the past 20 years trying to complete it. I am certain it holds the answers to defeating the Lords of Hell. What happened to Tristram's king? Leoric resisted Diablo's attempts to possess him, but the effort left him weak and confused. When his son Albrecht was kidnapped to be a vessel for Diablo, it destroyed any sanity Leoric had left. And so he became the Skeleton King. He commanded an army of the dead deep within the cathedral, finally serving the Lord of Terror he had resisted while alive. Many adventurers tried and failed to slay the Skeleton King. It was left to Leoric's eldest son, Aiden, to finally kill the monster his father had become. Got some brand new goods you might be interested in. From the east shall come a monarch whose rule begins in blood and ends in bone. In the light of a comet will he die a third and final death at the hands of a chosen woman. These dark events tax us. I worry for Hadrick, our blacksmith most of all. His wife has been injured, and he is tasked with seeing to those who may turn. His family has suffered under this curse before. His grandfather, the Chancellor to King Leoric, was killed when the evil first spread over Tristram 20 years ago. Did you know that King Leoric had his own wife executed? Terrible, terrible things happened when he went mad. Will Leoric's spirit never rest? Why was he cursed so? You know it would take everyone's mind off their troubles? One of Theodos' great comedies. I've seen one of them. Two men dressed as women, screeching at each other and tearing their bodices. Ha! Huh, a Jimmy Ryder. Glad to hear it. Rehearsals in three hours. Deckard is home, rescued from the clutches of the Skeleton King. I'm so glad. But the Skeleton King? I thought he was a folktale. The idea of Mad King Leoric returning to torture this place. Hasn't Tristram suffered enough? Bless you for saving Deckard Cain. I don't know what Leo would do. What any of us would do if Cain were truly lost. So this is how it ends? They dragged my cart from the road, but for what? I can't get it repaired. Might as well dig a hole and die in it. You would not be alone. Many have died before their time here. I have some... Don't touch anything unless you're buying it. I like to keep my inventory clean. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. What? She was out defending the gates this morning. What is driving that woman? Did you hear? Old Rumford has us down to half rations. How are we supposed to fight if we're starving? The rest of the town is down to quarter, including my wife. But you can quit if you want. Chelsea, how sweet of you to ask. My people, the Vetchin, are nomads. Always traveling, looking for the land we might settle. All of us have the sight, but few have it as strong as myself. You know, men have always pursued me for my visions. <laughs> well, for things other than my visions. But everyone wants to know what the future holds. My duty is my future. So serious, just because you're fated to save the world. 
doesn't mean you shouldn't have a good time. The world is constantly renewing itself, eternally playing out the same events over and over again. We can merely play our parts. What are you trying to say? I speak clearly. Do not blame me for the state of your mind. You are the blacksmith, aren't you? I have a request. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? Death is a path all must tread. Allow me to help. Thank you. Follow me. You think you're some type of hero? Here to save us all. The dead will feast on your bones as easily as they will ours. Don't tell anyone, but I've got some new items you really should see. This gate is locked by order of the captain. That is not possible. I'm afraid not. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. There is a way you could repay me. I seek the crown of King Leoric. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. I would like to hear more about your grandfather, the Chancellor. Not much to tell. I lived with my father in Chaldeum at the time. We heard that my grandfather stayed in Tristram until the end, trying to save lives. Don't know if he succeeded, but there it is. When the Skeleton King fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. He made his choice then. <laughs> 